Today, we'll be talking about Commvault security and additional features as it relates to ransomware. From a Commvault perspective, we have multiple layers of security, including role-based access control, security reporting, ransomware protection, uh, and additional features as it relates to locking down data paths. Initially, from a Commvault perspective, the system is deployed in a secure mode, and you can check the status of that secured mode as you go through the environment. So we will click on the health report, and it will take us into the health status. And then from the health status report, we'll go into the security assessment, which will detail the security configuration of the current environment as it is deployed. In this security assessment, you will be able to see, do you have two-factor authentication turned on? Are you using single sign-on with additional security providers? What password complexity level are you using? Uh, additional security functions that would help you meet STIG compliance as well as some other conversations here. Uh, we go through and provide information about detailed auditing. What is turned on? Are you in a good situation? If you're not, there's a report available that you can click on and go through. Same thing comes down through from a security perspective. So are you running encryption on your stored data? Additionally, which copies are encrypted with a full report that breaks out for that. And then down into data privacy, if you're running multi-tenancy, and then into additional security functionalities that are above and beyond traditional usage. So do you want to have an additional set of eyes on every delete function? So Commvault has an entire set of functions already available in the box, available for job authorization. So prevention of additional deletions of jobs, backup sets, clients, data stores, as well as even the policies that go into processing uh, those RPOs. So we have a full capability to prevent internal bad users from going around and doing that as well. So once you've looked at the initial security assessment, additionally, there's ransomware functions in here. So are we looking at file level anomaly reporting, which we will touch on in a little bit, as well as do you have ransomware protected against all of your existing mount paths? Part of that lockdown function is Commvault security functionality. So under from a security perspective, we have the ability to reach in and do role-based access control. And Commvault ships with a predetermined number of roles uh, of a variety of different use cases, whether they're administrators, operators, or end users. However, Commvault does not prevent you from creating additional roles of your own that are tied to your environment and meet your use cases. So for example, if we're going to create a junior DBA role, we may want to come in and allow them to look at alerts and we may allow them to come into a client and they may be able to find data. They may be able to um, do an in-place recovery um, and they may be able to do a full in-place machine restore if they've been told to, but they're not allowed to overwrite. So in other words, if the database doesn't exist, they're not allowed to do that, or they're only allowed to do out-of-place recoveries instead. Um, we can prevent them from running any system accounts. Uh, we can go through and then conditionally lock down additional parts of the environment. This role is entirely based on individual objects within Commvault as we get down to using these. So once a role is created, there is additional security that is available on them from a security perspective as to who has access and who can modify these. This security applies to multiple Commvault environments. So not only can I come in and pick an additional set of users, so let's pick domain, and we'll look up against Active Directory in this case, and we can select an individual role to apply to this specific object within Commvault. So tightly secured down from that perspective. Integration with external identity servers. So SAML, as well as Azure Active Directory uh, and or traditional Active Directory. We also do key management, both Commvault internal key management and Commvault external key management. So external key management servers are supported as well. From a system configuration perspective, you also have the ability to adjust who is seeing the audit trails. So we can go in, and in this case, we're sending this syslog data all out to Splunk. So this data all goes out to Splunk, and we go through and ship that out as well from that perspective. So full security from that perspective. 
We have full customization of the user interface so that you can prevent users that do not have specific roles from seeing specific parts of the interface. So this allows you to lock that down as well. Same thing goes for role-based access control as it relates to security and or sub companies and tenants. So those are fully available. Additionally, from a reporting perspective, we will go in and we will monitor and alert on a variety of functions within Commvault. So triggered alerts based on uh, traditional percentage changes, but there's also machine learning built in. So from a machine learning perspective, that extends to not only job behaviors, so jobs running past an exerted period of time, but also things like unusual file activity. So systems that have on Commvault file system agent installed, we can see the creation, deletion, and renames of files. And we will track from a machine learning perspective, are they usual or unusual activities? And if it is unusual activity, we will flag that, send out an immediate alert at that point when we start to see those unusual changes, and then allow you to do things like recover those files if there was files that were changed that looked like they were ransomed or bring up that physical file server as a VM so that you have the ability to go through and continue to use those under the covers and continue to move on. So all of this is available as part of the Commvault platform as well as complete reporting. So SLA reporting as it relates to what has happened in the environment and are you going to meet those recovery points and deletions and things like that. But not only that, a full audit trail. So who's done what in the environment and when? So you can see we've had people going through and doing compliance and logins and everything else from that perspective, as well as user and group permissions. So that's available from a, a who has access to what and what groups and associated and or permissions do they have in the environment where? And then finally, from a security perspective, we do also have the ability to manage credentials. So we have Commvault internal credential management and Commvault has recently added CyberArk for additional credential management. So you don't even have to store usernames and password inside the Commvault environment. And that's it for today. Thank you very much.